Stop, 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 stop. Whoa. What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So I'm actually coming to you outside today and that's because I wanna do a video of the new Tesla feature called Smart Summon. So if some of you may know that I actually have a Tesla. I have a Tesla Model S P100D and I wanna test this out. Now I'm terrified to use this feature, but it's too awesome not to show you guys. Now I did try to use this feature at home, but it won't let you use it on an actual road, like a public road. It'll tell you that it'll give you an error message telling you you can't use it, but it works perfectly in parking lots. So I have my phone here. So I'm gonna go ahead and you see that it has a come to me feature. I'm shaking because I'm terrified to do this, but if you see the come to me, my car is actually all the way over there. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's parked over there in the lot, in, in between cars and everything. So this is gonna be an ultimate test. I'm gonna bring it all the way over here. It's gotta go through the stop sign, across that road, and over here to me. So this works up to 250 feet or something like that, I believe. Um, this is probably the farthest I've used it, so hopefully it works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing focus. And there's some cars coming. I'm gonna let them go first. So I'm not crazy enough to do this in a bunch of traffic. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold come to me. So let's see, the car is on. It is pulling out of the spot. I'm still holding this down. Still coming. All right, it just, this is crazy. All right. It is, it's trying to make up its mind what it wants to do here. Okay. It came across. This is insane. Okay. <laughs> It was kind of weird how I crossed that road, but it's coming and it's still coming to me, still coming. Oh my God, it's here. There you go. The feature actually works. <laughs> so I'm actually standing in front of this building right here and my car is actually parked in the parking lot all the way over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got to navigate through quite a bit, including some cars in order to come over here to get me. So what I want to do is actually use the app, the Tesla app to tell the car to come and get me. Now, this is kind of a busy parking lot. Hopefully we don't run into any accidents or hit any curbs or anything like that, but I'm doing all of this for you guys. So, all right, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to, oh, here's the Tesla app. So if you go in here, you can see that it actually says come to me right here. Now you can do one of two things. You can even tap and hold that come to me in the car or come to you, or you can go to summon here and then go to Smart Summon, and then you can actually look on the map here, tell it exactly where you want the car to go, and it'll show you how it's gonna navigate to get there. So as you can see, it says it's gonna back out of that spot and come around and get me. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down, go to target, and the car should start up and come and get me. So I don't know if you can see that, but it is. All right, so car is backing up out of the spot. I actually let go of the button by mistake. So I'm gonna keep holding it backing out of the spot this is crazy and it's got to come around here and get me so it's actually navigating around now it's clearing that this is insane and it's got to come left around here to come and get me and there it is it's coming so it's trying to think looks like it's thinking about what to do here it doesn't really know what it wants to do that's weird Okay, it's, <laughs> it's trying to figure it out. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> that was close, not cool. I don't know what it was about to do right there, but that's scary. So <laughs> I was gonna let go. I wasn't gonna find out whether it was gonna hit this pole or not, but I'm sitting here shaking because this is not a cheap car, so. <laughs> Yeah, that was scary. I, I don't know if you can see this, but it's the car is right here and it, it was coming in pretty hot towards that pole right there. I was not going to find out if it was going to stop. Now, what I am curious about, though, is if I walk over here, if it'll fix itself. So let's see if it can at least kind of redeem itself here. I'm going to walk a little farther away from it and I'm going to say come over here. Now, you can look in the app and you'll see that it actually says 
go to target and I'm over here and it's saying it's gonna back up and then come to me. So let's see if it does that. I don't know if I trust this 100% now, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna hit hold to target, hold to, go to target, let it think and do what it's gonna do. All right, it's backing up. And it's coming towards us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, for some reason, and I think it might be because of the sunlight right there, it cannot, it cannot see that pole. I don't know, it can't see that curve in that pole right there. And I think it might be because of the way the sunlight is cutting off right there, I don't know. But it looked like it was getting a little bit too close for me <laughs> to that curve. So I don't know, but it looks like the feature works. Um, I've actually used it one other time and it actually did a pretty good job. I mean, for the most part, I think this is a pretty cool feature. It needs a little bit of work because it's, you know, navigating th things like this small curb right here. I think that might have actually confused it a little bit. But for the most part, it does a pretty good job, especially if it's a basic parking lot. This is kind of like a difficult situation. There's a lot of traffic. There's a few maneuvers here that even regular people driving would have a problem. Even a few, even a human might have a problem with some of this stuff. So it is pretty tricky. But I mean, for the most part, I think it's doing a pretty good job. I didn't even think this, this was a 2017. So this actually has the Autopilot 2.0 hardware. It's not 2.5 or 3.0. So I'm actually surprised it can do this at all. So I'm still kind of impressed with it, but it does need a little bit of work as you can see right there. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, if you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. If you guys wanna see more videos like this or see more Tesla videos, let me know in the comment section and I'll go ahead and do some more of these videos. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.